In the presidential race, Donald Trump is bashing Hillary Clinton in an unusually crude manner. At least one of his words has never been used in a campaign speech. The Trump and Clinton campaigns have also been trading shots after the billionaire called the Democrat a liar. A new nationwide poll finds Clint voters prefer Clinton to Trump 47 to 40 percent. Major Garrett is in Washington with how the two frontrunners are squaring off. Major, good morning. Good morning. In case you just awoke from a long winter's nap and were wondering, no, the general election hasn't begun. But Donald Trump would like Republicans to imagine him going toe to toe with Hillary Clinton. That's really what this confrontation with Clinton is all about. And other Republicans are, as has been so often the case in this campaign, just trying to get a piece of the increasingly obnoxious Trump action. You are a loser. You really are a loser. Go ahead. At a Michigan rally riddled with protesters Monday night, Donald Trump fought through more than a dozen interruptions. There's another guy up there. They're very non-combative people. That's a very weak voice. He's holding up his hands like he's Mike Tyson. He'd never threw a punch. But found plenty of time to challenge potential 2016 rival Hillary Clinton, assailing her accusation that ISIS used Trump's words about Muslims to recruit followers turned out to be a lie. She's a liar. And the last person that she wants to run against is me, believe me. Trump also made a bizarre reference to Clinton's debate dash to the bathroom that lasted longer than the commercial break. Sorry. Where did she go? I thought she quit. I thought she gave up. I know where she went. It's disgusting. I don't want to talk about it. And he hit Clinton for losing the 2008 nomination. She was favored to win and she got she lost. I mean, Besides Trump's I lewd leap toward Yiddish, he dismissed critics appalled by his admiration for Russian President Vladimir Putin, accused of accepting the targeted killing of journalists. I would never kill them. I would never do that. Ah, uh, let's see. No, I wouldn't. I would never kill them. But I do hate him. Clinton's spokesman said the thrust of her criticism remains true. The hateful rhetoric that we are hearing from Donald Trump is playing into the hands of ISIS and other terrorism groups. Florida Senator Marco Rubio and other GOP rivals have kept the focus on Clinton. Rubio comes close to tying Clinton in a general election matchup. A new poll has it 43 to 44 percent. And Clinton and Texas Senator Ted Cruz are tied at 44 percent. These new numbers come a day after Lindsey Graham, a candidate whose numbers didn't even register in this most recent poll, dropped out of the race, winnowing the Republican field to 13. Nora? All right, Major, thank you.